guys. So today I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about the wedding. I've gotten so many questions, even after my wedding q and I have gotten questions all about everything, like all aspects of my feelings and why I partnered with brides and how do I feel about all of this and like what can we vote on and all of that. So I just wanted to do like a glitter gossip wedding edition. Like let's chat. I'm going to fill you guys in on everything wedding because it is coming up so soon. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. It's kind of like that time period where it's like not the week before the wedding. So I'm not like totally just kind of like, well, whatever happens happens, but it's not far enough away that I can push things off anymore. Actually, when this video goes up, I'm going to be in New York because I'm pre-filming and I'm going to New York to shoot a video series for Bride's YouTube channel that will be airing all about the wedding. Like we're gonna film a lot of the parts of the wedding planning process, which is so fun. And it's gonna be fun for you guys too. It's not gonna be on my channel, but I'll be promoting it through social media. So you guys will be able to see it. But I just wanted to talk to you guys on my channel, like separate from that series and just give you guys the scoop of everything. Cause I've had so many questions and honestly, I feel a little bit bad because I feel like you guys feel a little bit left out. At the beginning, when I first announced that I had partnered with Brides Magazine for my wedding, I had mentioned that you guys would get to vote on different things. And to be honest, I had a lot of mixed feelings about that from you guys. Part of you were like, why would we vote when we want to see what you pick? And then part of you were really excited. And so I kind of wanted to talk about my thought process behind it to make it make a little bit more sense. Here's how I see it. I have gotten so much joy from YouTube over the years, and I would not know my fiance if it wasn't for me doing YouTube videos and you watching my YouTube videos. I feel like weddings and babies are those things on YouTube where when you watch someone for a long time and then they either get married or they have a baby for the first time, you just feel so like you're so part of it. I wanted you guys to be included on the wedding. I wanted to figure out how to do it in a way where you guys could help me make big decisions while still like being my buddies, like being my like planner friends where it's almost like you guys are all my girlfriends and we're like planning this wedding together. And so that is what's happened is that there are gonna be all these different categories from everything, the dress, the hair, the florals, like everything. And there's gonna be four options that have been selected through my feedback, through Brides Magazine's feedback, through our wedding planner, Brooke Keegan, just like every, like four beautiful options of each category. And you guys are gonna be able to go online starting today, which is May 3rd. You guys can vote for like certain aspects of my wedding. And I think that's amazing. At the beginning when I got mixed reviews, I felt like, okay, people just don't understand like where I'm coming from with this decision because I guess it's a controversial decision as like a, uh, what word would I even be? A YouTuber, an online personality um, to have the viewers make those decisions. But I don't really see it as a negative. I see it as like an inclusion thing if that makes sense. I wanted to address that because I knew that that was something that came up a lot. I've had snaps about it. I have had comments about it. And I also wanted to address the comment about the exclusivity, like feeling excluded from something so big in my life because you guys just don't know it yet because it hasn't happened yet until today, but you guys are more included than you like realize. And so much of the decisions are in your hands. So I, I wanted to go over like a, the categories and I want to kind of tell you guys like what I'm hoping wins or my feelings on it, I guess, um, so that you guys can help me out maybe. But also like I want to know what you guys think. And I know that as my buddies, you guys are going to help me create the best wedding ever. First of all, the venue is already picked. It's going to be at Bacar Resort and Spa, which is in Santa Barbara, and it is absolutely breathtaking. It is a Mediterranean looking hotel on the beach, and it is beautiful. Like when I was looking at pictures, I was like, oh my gosh, like I can imagine wedding pictures in like certain places. And it just had everything that I wanted in a venue all wrapped up in a beautiful bow. And it's not too far away. Santa Barbara, I would say is probably an hour from LA. It might be like 
two hours because I'm south of LA now. Far enough away where it feels like a destination, like a vacation, but still close enough that I can drive, which was like one of my things. I didn't want like an international destination because of like traveling and everything, but it's going to feel like a vacation to all of my guests, which I think is so cool. Like it's a hotel, so we're all gonna be like staying at the hotel and partying at the hotel, and I think that's fun. You can like go up to your room and go back down to the party, and it's not at a venue where you have to like wait for buses to like come get, you know what I mean? Anyway, I just, that's what like set me on the venue. So the venue is like one of the only elements that is like set in stone, that's, it's happening. Everything else, well a lot of these other things, the categories I'm gonna tell you about, are fluid and up to your vote. Do you guys feel important? Because you should. This is like a big thing, like in your hands. And I'm a little nervous about it, but I trust you guys. All right, so I have my laptop here with like a few of the notes of the different category options. Um, so if I'm looking this way, that's what I'm looking at. So the first category is going to be decor. And I won't lie to you guys, decor is a big one for me. Like, it's one of the ones that I'm a little nervous about, but I think that they're all gonna be pretty, so I'm trying to just like be like, anything you guys pick is gonna be lovely, because I know that it will be, but I definitely have a favorite, and I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you my favorite, but I'm gonna do it anyway, don't tell them. So there's four options, and uh, Brides was working with our wedding planner, Brooke Keegan, to kind of bring this to life at Bacara Resort and Spa, so it's, it's like, oh, it's gonna be so pretty. Um, the first one is the one that I am hoping for. It is called Seaside Chic, and it's touches of greenery, lots of feminine florals, like blush colors, nude colors, whites, and like exposed wooden tables, like very rustic. I imagine this to be very Pinteresty, but with a very beachy flair. A lot of the like Pinterest looks that I imagine this to be like are set in rustic barns or something. This would be like a beachy version of that kind of shabby chic look. So I know you guys are gonna vote and that's gonna make it official and stuff, but I kind of want you guys to leave comments of your favorite ones too, just so I can feel for like what you guys look just so I might have a sneak peek. I don't know, I don't know, I'm just excited, it's my wedding. Like, I'm sure you can imagine how I feel. The second category is the dress. Wedding dresses. Okay, so Brides and I have selected Monique Lulier as the designer. She has been my dream designer, guys. Since the beginning of me caring about weddings, which is probably about six years ago, like right when Pinterest started getting big, I started like looking at Pinterest weddings. From the beginning, I saw a dress that I just absolutely loved on Pinterest. And it was by Monique Lulier, and it's actually one of the options. I really hope it wins. Like I want it so badly. And I tried all these on, by the way. Um, I went and I had like a few try-ons and a few fittings. I went with my mom and I went with Blair and it was like, it was so much fun. We had mimosas and I might've gotten a little bit tipsy. All so pretty, like I couldn't pick, but I do, this is one category I really do have a favorite and it is called the waltz. I, you guys can look up these pictures even before the voting, but it is absolutely beautiful. Like to me, it is what a wedding dress is. So it's strapless. It has like a sweetheart kind of neckline, very flattering for my chest because my chest is bigger and not all dresses fit it well. And then, so it's like tight right at the top. And then it has all of these layers, like these beautiful layers that is like, to me, it like screams beachy. Um, it's like a very textured kind of train. It has this bow in the back. It's beautiful. Like you guys gotta have my back on that. The next category is beauty. So a bride selected Mary Kay to do my makeup and I've already talked to the makeup artist and I'm so excited. I get to do my makeup trial in New York and, um, but I've already talked to her and we've already talked about like what I envision and then she created these four looks based on like kind of what I told her and I told her I was like you know because I do makeup myself on myself not on other people um I do I am like pickier I guess than like a normal wedding client would be and so I told her that because of that I might be a little bit stuck in my own head I wanted her to feel like she could bring me maybe options outside of my box and I would try them because I I feel like you kind of have to try makeup on you have to try the dress on you have to 
you can't always tell just by like a description or a picture. There's four different looks. One is sultry. This look is all about playing up the bride's eyes. Muted layered hues create a modern smoky eye complemented with a nude pout. Probably the one that is the most in my comfort zone slash the one that I would probably pick if I was picking it on my own. If you guys aren't already following my Snapchat, I really think that you should because right now when this video is live, I'm going to be in New York and I am going to be snapping a lot, including um, little like behind the scenes things. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm going to ask them if I'm allowed to. I'm assuming that they will let me and even if they say no, <laughs> I might sneak to the bathroom. No, I'll still like communicate through Snapchat to you guys. I just don't know if I'll be able to like actually show anything. Next is the honeymoon. The thing that I'm looking forward to most. So brides knew that I wanted to go somewhere tropical. So what they did is they narrowed it down to four different sandals resorts. This is one category where I cannot pick. I can't pick. They're all incredible. Like I... I don't have a favorite. There, I want to go to all four of them. If my if I got to pick, I'd say one night at each place. They all look to me equally incredible. I think you guys should pick for me because I looked them all up. They all look absolutely incredible. So there's four options. Of those four, we're doing a test drive your honeymoon at the Sandals Barbados. So we're actually doing that at the end of our New York trip. We're like tacking it on. So by the time this goes up, I have not done it yet and I'll be Snapchatting while I'm there. I'm gonna, I'm like really excited. Basically, I feel like somehow I got two honeymoons because I'm going on a honeymoon, which I don't know which location it's gonna be. I'm letting you guys pick, like I can't pick. But at the same time, I get to do this test drive your honeymoon where you like, so it's this whole thing on their website. I like stalked it on their website because I wasn't exactly sure what it was. But it is essentially a way for before you go on your honeymoon, you go for like a night to the location or to several locations and you test drive your honeymoon. And you basically like, I don't, I just think it's like the coolest thing ever. Like I can't really wrap my head around the idea of basically two honey. It's like a second mini honeymoon. I don't know. I think like a pre-wedding honeymoon. I don't know, I think it's really, really cool. So I am going to Sandals Barbados for my test drive. And that's also one of the four options. So that could actually be where we go back for our like real honeymoon, or it could be um, like we could go to another one of the three. So oh, 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 oh. almost knocked my light over. I can't choose, they all, like I'm not even kidding. I feel like I'm gushing about this a lot, but I think I'm just really excited about the honeymoon. Huge thank you to Sandals for being awesome because I'm so excited. Okay, so the next category is menswear. This is one that I don't have a lot of opinion on. Like I'm actually really excited because we're doing a fitting when we go to New York, which we're in now when you're watching this. Um, I'm excited to talk to like the designer, the designer we're working with is Joseph Aboud and um, he's doing Alex and all of Alex's groomsmen and I'm excited to meet him and talk to him about what he thinks. Like I really feel like for this category in particular, I am going to be very open to like whatever he thinks, whatever you guys think, like I don't have a super strong preference because I think they're going to look good no matter what and I... I don't know, like I, I actually don't know which one I like best. And there's like descriptions of all of these, um, like when you go to vote, but basically there's a light gray one, there's a navy one, there's a gray shark skin modern fit, and then there's a super 30s peak lapel, which is basically like a classic black tuxedo. Alex is probably gonna want. I mean, I think light gray would be like really pretty. You guys, I trust you. Okay, next category is bridesmaids dresses. So I am like so happy that brides chose Donna Morgan collection because I love it and I've worn it to weddings like by choice. Like I've selected it before this whole thing happens, like before I knew. And so it's a brand that I'm really familiar with and it's also a brand that fits me well. And I feel like if it fits me well, it will fit everyone else because my body's very hard to dress because of my boob to waist ratio. So um, there's four 
bridesmaids dresses that you guys can choose from. Pick one that Blair's gonna look good in because she's the maid of honor. And she would be mad if you guys picked a bad one for her. No, there isn't a bad one. They're all like really pretty. I mean, as far as bridesmaids dress brands go, like they could not have picked a better one in my opinion because it's one that I like a lot. Alrighty. Okay, so hair. Brides is actually sending a sexy hair stylist to do my hair and the girl's hair on my wedding and all of the options are beautiful. There's one that I favor because it's it's one that you guys know and also it's kind of like my go-to like comfort style and that is half up half down. Some sort of pretty like curls with either like a braided detail or some flowers or something fun in it. I mean, I have my hair half up half down today. Like it's my favorite style because I like the look of like long hair but I want it to be a little bit different than everyday wear. So like something just intricate in the back. There's also a fishtail braid, which would be really pretty for a beachy outdoor wedding. I'm imagining it to be like really full and just like beautiful, maybe stick flower in there or something. Then there's the braided bun, which is very bohemian looking, and then a jeweled chiffon. So those are the options for hair. The next one is the registry, which I am registering at Macy's. We're doing it when we're in New York at the big Macy's, which is gonna be so much fun. And they actually have four wedding packages online. I was like kind of starting my registry online just to like, just to have a heads up of, you know, looking at some of the stuff. And they have these four options. They are traditional, modern, trendy, and rustic. And honestly, I couldn't even pick because it gives you like options of what you should register on based on these four um, themes, I guess. And they're all so pretty. Like they're so pretty. Again, I'm letting you guys pick because they're so pretty. You guys go on there, look at the pictures, bop around the website, figure out which one you think would fit me and Alex best in like our house. You guys have seen some of our house and I'm leaving it in your very capable hands or your fingers for doing the, uh, the voting. Next is cake, and this is exciting. So, Carlos Bakery is making my cake, which, <laughs> so I called Jelly Bean on speakerphone because she watches Cake Boss, like she thinks it's the coolest show ever, and I was like, Jelly, who is the coolest person ever to make my wedding cake? And she was like, I don't know. Like, she had like no clue what I was getting at, and so I told her, and she like, thinks it's the coolest thing ever. Um, she was like, I'm gonna keep my slice of cake and like never eat it. Which the funny thing is, traditionally you do keep like the top layer and you eat it like on the one year anniversary, which we are going to do. Alex thinks it's so gross. We're totally gonna do it because it's good luck. So we're gonna do it, dang it. <laughs> um, there are four cake options. Monogram, Ruffles, Hexagon, and Arrow. Monogram says, make a classic monogrammed confection feel unique but still subtle with the addition of sweet Swiss dot embellishments. To me, that sounds absolutely beautiful. I've not seen pictures of these as of filming, um, but I'm sure there will be pictures up by the time you guys can vote. So then there's, the next one is Ruffles, big, bold, sugar flower blooms and feminine ruffles make a seriously romantic and oh so pretty wedding day dessert. That is the one that I'm kind of thinking you guys would pick for me. I don't know. Just based on the description, it sounds like when I think of a wedding cake, like what I kind of would imagine. The next one is hexagon, which says combining something old with something new, a hexagonal bottom tier adds a fresh twist to a traditional floral cake. That sounds very like modern and cool. And then the last one is Arrow, which says, a wedding cake becomes a modern work of art with the addition of a geometric chevron design and clean squared off edges. No matter what they make, it's going to be the most beautiful thing. Like, I know it. I know it. You guys know it. It's like, you guys pick it and I will eat it for you. I will eat it for you. I wonder if I'll have my phone on my wedding day. I wonder if I could like Snapchat the pics. Probably not. I don't know if I want to be like live vlogging during my wedding. I might be kind of like busy like getting married and being Mary. <laughs> okay, so um, those are actually all the categories. You guys can go online right now. You should. Go vote. It's at bridesliveweddings.com. I will have it linked below. Vote for me and my wedding day.
seriously. And I also want to give a huge, huge, huge thank you to Monique Lulier and Macy's and Bacara Resort and Spa and Mary Kay and Men's Warehouse and all of the other people that are coming together to make this wedding because I have a feeling you guys might watch this video and I this you. I heart you guys. Seriously, like thank you. Thank you. And thank all of you guys that are going to vote right now for my wedding because without you, I would not know Alex. And without Alex, I would not have a wedding. And without a wedding, I wouldn't be this happy right now. <laughs> Cause I just am. By the way, do you guys like my new setup? I like, this is, I'm in my like beauty room and that's the corner. I like catty cornered it because it was like on that wall and it just like, I didn't feel like it flowed very well in the room. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any other questions, you can tweet me or Snapchat me and I will answer them. Um, now that I have a little bit more of a feel for like exactly what these options are and how it's really going down, I feel much less like, I don't know if that makes sense. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.